All right, folks, thanks for checking out the video. I want to talk today about this article that I saw about Barack Obama calling out, quote, obscene inequality in news coverage of Ocean Gate sub tragedy and sinking of migrant ship. So here's a clip of Barack Obama talking about that. Now we have uh, 24 hour coverage, and I understand it, of this submarine the submersible uh, uh, that, that tragically is right now lost at the bottom of the sea. Um, at the same time, right here, in at, just off the coast of Greece, we had 700 people dead, 700 migrants who were apparently being smuggled uh, into here. And you know, we've, it's made news, but it's not dominating in the same way and, and in some ways it's indicative of the degree to which people's life chances have have grown so disparate okay and it says here uh, during a recent cnn interview former president barack obama criticized the media for fixating on the ocean gate titan sub tragedy while not devoting devoting equal coverage uh, for the story of a migrant boat that sank off the coast of Greece last week. So, I mean, this is typical. I mean, uh, you know, he's always complaining about something, right? Always complaining about something. He's gotten extremely wealthy since he's left office, too. He's got deals with Netflix and podcast deals and book deals and this and that. So that kind of inequality is okay, right? And I would also say, well, who runs the media? It's not me. It's not you. It's people that think like Barack Obama. And they decided not to cover that other story. Now, he doesn't mention that it's come out that <clears throat> on apparently as early as Sunday when this uh, submersible uh, first started its uh, trip to go view the, t the wreckage of the Titanic. It's come out that as early as Sunday, the United States military had information, had intelligence that this thing imploded. Apparently, they, they have microphones or, or some, some sort of system set up, I, I guess, to detect... Um, enemy submarines or something, but they had some way of detecting that, that this thing imploded and they didn't publicly come out with that information until after the fact, until this thing apparently had been discovered, uh, destroyed, and it had been determined that, you know, it wasn't survivable, uh, for the people on, on board. So, you know his his complaint is with people that, that that are just like him that that think like him that act like him that travel in the circles that he travels in so you know he's not going to do anything about it but i just thought it was funny as people saying oh well well what about this story well i mean there's all kinds of stories that that don't get the coverage that 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 they deserve you know this story was simply used as a distraction plain and simple Plain and simple. And that's what a lot of the news is today. It's a distraction. It's a distraction to stop people from paying attention to other more important things that directly affect them. So I just thought this was funny. You know, Obama sits there and, and he's so pensive and, you know, he's he's uh, showing that he really cares. You know, all these other people, they don't really care. He really cares, you know. It also reminds me when, when he was president, he, he said that he thinks that at some point you've made enough money. Well, I guess he'll let us know when he gets there. I guess, you know, the, the tens of millions of dollars that, that he's accumulated in the last uh, 10 years or so uh, isn't enough. So let us know when it's enough, Barack. Let us know when it's enough. So let me know what you all think. And as always, we'll see you on the next one.